what is good friends we get some black and white nice and change it up have to let Oris and Sun and Moon CL versus EO for obviously SPL week 6 still it's SPL Sunday it's going well the matches are getting spammed getting more and more tired I should maybe put another song the song's like a bit the song is starting off like so low you cannot even hear anything so it was um, a trouble berry, so you could eat up a secret sword and tea with the Kelio and get up rocks. So the Kelio is crippled. Hmm. There's a Tita in the bag, I'm wondering. What's the other gonna. Like, if he's gonna play around the Tita or if he's just gonna, like, Draco. He just Draco. Does a, sh does a shitload. Ah, uh, the next one doesn't kill though. The next one should do uh, twenty-seven, twenty-six percent. Like it depends on a roll. Like twenty-five to thirty percent is what I'm expecting. Kind of something like that. Yeah, I just have to change the music real quick. I know it's unprofessional. It's in the way of my video, but I don't like this song. He just Draco again, doesn't kill ya. Yeah, yeah the, the song is fine, the song is a bit better. I like this song, nice black and white. Um, shout out to Glitch City for the music. Like, I'm using Glitch City's music in the background. It's like really cool, you don't get copyright strike. I mean, Pokemon all also use the music. A lot of Poketubers use the music. You should like know that Glitch X City channel, like it's really big. Oh, that's a really cool play by EO. So he's um, special Jirachi with leftovers. That set is like, didn't like uh, Trosco face. That set was like Mewtwo and Aorus like three days ago when they played. So it's like, Probably a hidden power and potentially T Bolt or Thunder. Um they run Thunder sometimes because rain is kind of I don't know how common rain is on black and white, but weather is permanent so thunder always hits in rain. But he doesn't rain have rain support, so if he doesn't like expect his opponent to bring rain, thunder doesn't make that much sense. Um, if the guard jump is not Scarf, he had speeds, but he's probably scouting for Scarf Earthquake here, which is a nice play as CL switches out into his own rush. He will see if this is also. Uh, I see when this should be Rocks Landers. Just go for Earthquake. Um, we do not know, it could also be like Scarf or Double Dance, obviously. Um, hmm. I like he has a lot of potential rockers Mew, Jirachi, Tita. So maybe it's not the Lander then. It's HPS Landers, that's a set that's so common in um, Sun and Moon at the moment. Because Double Dance Landers is just the red with the Z moves. Hydreigon is in, Hydreigon looking clean. I hope I don't miss any other games. Um, that just dropped, so that was live of Hydreigon. I assume. I mean, that's Betty Landers, so the Landers obviously was not scarfed. Obviously the opposing Landers was not scarf because he used Earthquake and then he used HPA so he switched up moves. Yeah. I cannot like concentrate well. It's like It's only human that I make mistakes at this point because I'm like How long am I awake? I think thirty two hours or thirty three. And the like last game I wanna record is probably Adam versus I forgot his opponent. Which is the game is in three hours, and two hours. The game is in two hours. Okay, drops a Draco on the guard jump. Nice from Dragon to Dragon. So he was rocks Pharaoh. The guard jump could have like been. The guard jump could have been chain jump. Life up guard jump or um let me see if guard jump revealed it didn't reveal anything could be could have been scarf could have been chain jump so he's probably just um, gonna suck off the t tier he has it dies to rocks anyway that 
makes the most sense to me. He goes hard into paralyzed Kelio. As it is Thunder, um I think Theo brought that set last week. And missed a few thunders. And it happens again. I mean he gets a para, so that doesn't matter. I don't know why they're making comments about luck when there's like a turn that like nothing happened that turn. Actually, okay, you dodge too. No, so I, I guess it's yeah. So like, I hope he doesn't burn here. Nice. Don't want to see too much hacks. He already missed thunders. Oh. CLS um one is black and white game last this week. Hasn't been doing too too well in Sun and Moon. Which is probably why I got put into black and white, but maybe I don't know which idea it was to put him in black and white. If it was his manager, if it was himself. This new like this Mew is gonna put in some work. Hydreigon is like Hydreigon is the only like stop to this Mew. So I feel like Seal is in a um he was in a decent position here. I was about to say this could be default, but this is not RS, so this is not how it works. He doesn't have hazard control, I just realized. Um that's actually bad for you. That you cannot get rid of these rocks. The rocks are here to stay for the entirety of the game, if that's even a word. I just gotta like check if there's any other game going on. This little cup match. Actually, that's already over. Uh, so yeah, it's the Willow set, probably with Taunt and Ruth slash Softball, like that Starbreaker set. I'll just. Balance breaker said, as Jade said, he's um, using his week three team. He was using his week three team. Sacks off the tide, that's through rocks anyway, so that's a decent sack. I was expecting that sack earlier, to be honest. When he went killed on a Jirachi. Laddy dies to Sunstorm plus burn. Like, I can't see. Like this is a tough turn for CL because if he goes, the Mew basically like beats everything besides the High Dragon. But if he goes into High Dragon and he goes into something like Latios, like CL is in a bad position. Depending on the Latios side, man. Good God, I'm tired. Wait, that's a Gen 7 game. Actually, that's the game that I already recorded. Nah, this is such a hard turn for CL. Decides to go Landorus, which, like, the Mew basically. I think the Mew has to roost here and Landorus. Landers is either scarfed or um Yeah, it's probably scarfed. Double dance with Uton is not a set. I feel like I've been saying that sentence too much. That that is not a set sentence. Yeah, he just you turns out with obviously it looks like scarf damage to me. Softballs up the Mew and oh, it's okay. It's Roost Life of a Dragon, so probably Dark Pulse Draco and then either Flamethrower, probably Flamethrower. Um, Fairy's the next in Gen Five, so you probably don't run. Oh, Flash Gun and Black White. Oh, he misses the icy wind, which sucks. That that dark pulse was like what? That Jirachi is like spadev. That dark pulse bounced off. How did it do forty seven? 
Oh, it's neutral. That's my bad. I'm like so. I'm still in the in the auras mindset. Auras and Sun Moon mindset, which is um, it would would have been super effective here, but Steel resists. Steel resists dark. Yeah, that's how it works. If I'm not mistaken, should be how it works. Yeah, he didn't was. It was like a really good Gengar switch, and I think it resisted. Was it dark or was it steel? Steel has to resist dark, because otherwise this wouldn't be neutral. Yeah, it has to. Unless Psychic was neutral this too dark in this gen, but there's no way, there's no way. It has to be the steel tap that cancels out the weakness. Jirachi can actually take two of this and... Okay, dude. So there's a um, icy wind miss, and then there's a flinch as Pokemon. We were just talking. Um, me and TK, we like were talking, and we had thought in that video too. We were talking about that. Actually, it was me and TK talking at the end. That there was like finally no hacks. Actually, it was TK talking about that mainly. There was finally no hacks in the game, and now we get hexy game again. A hexy game. Double into more Jirachi, which is um, decent. This, like, they don't run U turn, I don't think. But a slow U turn would be nice. Okay, it's fast, Jirachi, never mind. Faster than you. You um doesn't get flinched there, which is nice to see, cause it's Jirachi already got flinched and already like missed an icy wind. So this helps a bit for like finally not hex. <laughs> How do you not get flinched, chat? <laughs> yeah, you need like multiple flinches to kill this now. You can. Maybe you can go hard at Dragon here on the on the soft or wrist. And then he has to um sack the Jirachi. Pretty much. <laughs> I really cannot talk man. I about to fall asleep in my s in my seed. I don't know like what is even going on. Like if the Eye Dragon comes in Um you probably live one hit from full But he like basically has to sack the Jirachi in my opinion if the Eye Dragon comes in and then You can go to Laddie You can go to Laddie And then Sia basically has to sick of his Jirachi. And Sia can go to Landris and click U turn, which would give him momentum. And her Dragon. Wait, I forgot what the. What the heck, I lost my turn. I, I cannot take. God, my thought process is gone. It's Ice Beam you. I didn't know that. That's the last move. That's nice. That's a nice play then. So that like. That just like. Spats up the process. I thought he would have roosted and like. That just makes it like winnable for Eel now. Like, it's completely fine if you guys give me thumbs down for these, but. Like I'm putting in the work here, like I don't care what anyone says. Like this is a miracle that I'm still awake. I'm awake for 33 hours or something. That lives on 5. Softball, I still risk a potential crit afterwards, so maybe he could have gone for Wisp immediately. I mean, if he never gets crit, he gets health back every turn, but... Mm. Like there's always the slight chance to get crit. Crits also do the double damage in black white than the Norris. Not that it's nothing new, but just saying. 
That's definitely not new. Good god, I almost... <laughs> I just closed my eyes for like 5 or 10 seconds, I don't know how long it was. I just blanked... Oh. <laughs> my eyes just felt like... <laughs> Like if there's just a l few seconds where the players are thinking and nothing is happening, I'm just like about to fall asleep. <laughs> he's probably a softball spamming to... Mm. So he's gonna try to get in a range where he can click Will Wisp and then softball up again without getting tweet KO'd by Earthquake. Which, um... You could easily like figure out if you calc, but no, I'm not calking in my. No, no, too tired. So he withdrew into Jirachi. And the Exactor and the Ladi comes out, so I don't know if he predicted that. What does he even do here? Oh yeah, you picked them the earthquake again, that's a nice play by CL going in Jirachi. Doesn't he just sack his Jirachi here if he doesn't have a move to hit this? Hmm. Don't think Laddie threw an EQ in Gen 5. And again, <laughs> for two seconds or something, I almost fell asleep again. This is like funny. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot fall asleep. I have to catch the record again. Like, I don't even care if I mess up my recording. If I mess up this one. So Jirachi died to two serves. That did a lot. So that might be specs, laddie. I just dodged the thunder. Okay, I mean it didn't matter unless it parried. So land a U-turn out that could probably didn't matter and T like has to crit this Mew to win. This doesn't kill I mean yeah I think killed from you if he's if that is what he's referring to. Yeah, switching out doesn't make any sense. If he comes back he just takes more Rex. He did a cock, but he doesn't believe it. Like <laughs> that's like your only option. Let the chat is saying. Fiziachi berry. I, I like. I don't know the cock. He might just live Fiziachi. But this should just kill. Yup. <laughs> As Eo takes this like close match. Yeah. Gotta be honest. Not the best narration from my part. Like one, I don't have the best black and white knowledge, and two, I'm too tired. But this was like still really close, so interesting. Um, I'm actually not gonna spoil any stats. I might just do a video at the ending when I upload all games that are recorded, like an overall video with the standings after week six. If I don't forget it, and if you like guys want to like see that, but definitely not today, like. Because I'm up like 35 hours, like <laughs> I actually 33. I'm like uh, exa over exaggerating, however you say that. I just wanted to like have a take a look at the schedule real quick. Oh, uh, we got Axel Ten was Jimmy Traffic upcoming in around 25 minutes, and we get Joachim vs Jade. Uh both around the same time. Who hopefully they are not playing at the exact same time, which would be nice. Um. Magnus luck over skill is in two, two hours twenty minutes or three hours twenty minutes. It's also pretty interesting, even though yeah, like black and white people like don't watch black and white that much compared to Aris and Sun and Moon. I get it. Like Sun and Moon is the most interesting to me, honestly. Obviously, it's the new gen, but black and white is a like has some new toys because I never played that gen. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you still enjoyed Bar the Tiredness and probably not the best narration. Doc Rich are signing out. More content coming. Coming.
Peace out, friends.